What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video I got a mess in the garage. Now not the normal Bronco that's here. Don't worry I did not trade it for this. Bronco's still there. This is actually my daughter's car. I had it on the channel before which funny enough is when I was testing out this GF Aguo uh, air compressor and jump box and because I needed to jump this and well once again I need to jump this now the apparently you have a parasitic drain somewhere and it's draining the batteries I took the battery out tested fine went ahead had them charge it but great I came back I set it in the back I like I'll, I'll connect that when I come back out here and I let the tailgate close. Now, if you're not familiar, it's got an electronic switch for the tailgate. So if the battery is not connected, it doesn't work. And it just so happens to be perfect timing because JF Agwo reached out and they said they were happy with the video we did of that so in that video i had mentioned that uh, i didn't really need the compressor in my car i wanted to put this in my wife's car and then get just a jump start for my for my car but they just sent me this new jump pack to test out which is perfect because that's all i wanted was just the jump pack so yeah smart clamp instructions and cautions starter guide is big <laughs> yeah it's bigger than I was expecting it to be but it's also 6,000 amps 6,250 amps Came already charged, and I imagine these are cables. This will connect right here. It'll only connect one way. So this here is ground. And it's spark. Let's connect it. Hopefully that gives us enough power. So I unlock the door. And oh yes, there we go. So now now we can open it, now we can connect the battery. So silly little thing that locked myself out of the trunk and again GFA will help me out so very happy to have this jump pack I didn't even realize this got a digital screen on there so right now it's waiting for connection reconnect for start so we even got some built-in options there. Well, I'll dig into those in a little bit, but for now, I'm gonna get this battery started, get this moved out of here. Um, so I have some room, as you can probably see, I've got a paint project here. All right, guys, how's it going? It has been probably about a month since I recorded the last part of the video. Uh, as you can see, my daughter's car is no longer in the garage. Got that all taken care of. Things are looking good. Um, and she has had this jump start in her car this entire time. Pretty simple. Just a case, charging cord. It's just a USB-C cord that plugs in to charge. Then you could also plug in USB-C or USB-A to charge anything going out 
it does have a light on there and then it has this where you can which is just used for plugging the clamps into now here I see it says it's waiting for a connection I don't know how well you can read that but there's a card here that says everything that it does when you do when you do connect this to the battery this will turn green um, it'll run if the car starts or it's been too long it will disconnect but it'll tell you that you have to reconnect and then you can just re reconnect there and you see those are the different they'll flash for a second but and it's got a bunch of different warnings if the big battery is damaged it'll let you know if a battery gets too low a lot of times you are not able to charge them this does have a force start that you can do so all in all it's an awesome little tool and if you have a bronco and you're going off-road i highly recommend that you get one of these even if it's not this one i like this one it was sent out to me so take that as you will but uh I, I like it. I, I would let you know if I thought it was crap. Uh, one of the big things that I've seen with these that they just don't hold a charge. Like I said, we jumped my daughter's car and then I've had that sitting in there. Luckily, she hasn't really needed to use it, but as you can see, it's still holding a charge. Those lights are flashing in the camera. They're just steady light, but just the uh, refresh rate of the camera makes it look like they're flashing. They're actually not, but it's been sitting in the car, like I said, and it's holding a charge. I've seen many of these where, like, if you just let it sit for a few days, it does not hold the charge. It makes it pretty much useless if you have to recharge it every time you want to use it. Some reasons why I say that you should keep this in your Bronco. I'll put a link to a video up here. We lost power in Matt's Bronco because the alternator went out. You lose the alternator, your Bronco will still run for a little bit off the battery, but as the voltages come down, once you hit about 10 volts, all the computers, all the electronics, they just start going haywire. You're not going to be able to drive any further than that. You can get a jump and you can get the car going again briefly it's not going to go very far it's just going to drain down because it's a jump now luckily he had a jump pack with him and that jump pack actually powered the bronco long enough to get off the trails to where we were able to get out to the main parking lot where tow truck was able to come and get hooked up we didn't have to try to figure out some sketchy way to get off of the trail the jump pack did the job it helped it got us off of there if you have jumper cables great that's always awesome as long as there's somebody else around that has another car that you can use and you can jump start off of them um, ideally i would recommend having jumper cables in one of these just for the chance that You've used this, you killed it, and you're still having problems. This is going to take much less room than a jumper cable. You don't need to have other people. And I said, in the case that your battery's completely dead and you need to get somewhere off the trail or anything, it will power the car long enough to get you to, to safety. So I would highly recommend check out this jump pack or others um, that. It's going to be able to jump your car. It's going to be able to charge other things. It's also going to be able to provide power in an emergency situation uh, where jumper cables may not necessarily do that for you. Ideally, probably have both. But, um, you know, again, JF, JF Eggwo sent this to me. I did another video recently on here. I did another, I did another video recently here I have another uh, jump pack they sent me. It was a jump pack and a compressor. I was looking for something smaller.
to keep in the Bronco because I already have a compressor that I normally run. And that, comp that little compressor did impress me. It's not meant for these big of tires, but it still went ahead and filled one up. It's, uh, it lives in my son's car now because it's better suited for that. And they, do, they did say they are working on a more heavy duty compressor. Oh, I don't know how that will compare to like an ARB compressor or like the uh, the twin compressor that I have, but we'll we'll see how that looks if they decide to send me one of those in the future. And hint, but um, yeah, I mean I love having this. Unfortunately, like I said, I got this one because I wanted to keep this in the Bronco, and now this is being kept in my daughter's car because well. She does have a parasitic drain. Luckily, she did get her license. She's been driving. She, she, her, her car hasn't sat long enough that it's drained because she's excited and wants to get out and use it. So, but I still want her to keep that. So I still need to get another one and just have it for those old crap situations. Uh, Cause yeah, having that to get off the trail was huge help. Uh, getting a tow from a parking lot is a whole lot easier than getting a tow from somewhere deep into a off-road park. Uh, I mean, it can be done, but it's a whole lot easier if you don't have to do that. So, anyway, hope. Um, anyway, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video. As I said, check this out. I'll put a link down in the description. When you look at that, there will also be other variations that pop up see which one's right for you but i highly recommend that you put some type of um, jump pack in your bronco or any car really that you're going to be driving with especially if you're going to be driving it off-road anyway stay safe out there hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up button and if you didn't let me know down in the comments why not and if you would like to see more videos like this in the future hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time